hey babes welcome back to my channel i feel like i'm starting all of my videos off like this at the moment but i was not planning on filming today as you can probably tell not made up in the slightest like not really ready for anything today i've actually just been having a pottering around day like moving some plants doing some vacuuming like all of that jazz but a package arrived and i suppose this is the theme isn't it i'm not planning on really filming at the moment but i keep ordering things that i want to share with you <laughs> so i'm gonna keep filming i'm try i am thinking I'm going to be back on track with the filming and like uploading and updating you guys on everything soon. I'm just still being a bit gentle with myself. Oh, I'm really not looking my best. <laughs> okay, so I have a new package. It's another eBay order and I've just kind of like noticed, just trying to cover up my address, but look, Charlie's on the stamp. <laughs> King Charles. It's officially on our stamps. It looks weird. So this is a plant that I stumbled across on eBay. I hadn't heard of it before, but I stumbled across the listing and I was like, I think I need it. And I put a bid in and didn't get it, hang on. So yeah, I put a bid in and didn't get it. Like, um, right at the last minute somebody outbid me which is fine that's the nature of ebay isn't it i know i've done it a few times to people um but i was really really gutted like really gutted because i put in like so i put my highest bid as 30 and then i went to change it to 35 and i was like oh no that'll be fine because it was at like 17 pound or something so i wasn't expecting somebody else to kind of go above that but obviously the person who won did want it because they must have put something above 30 they it was sold for 31 pound 50 <laughs> so they obviously just put like a little bit higher than 30 um and i was gutted and i messaged the like seller i was like really gutted to have missed out on this plant is there any chance that you've got any others that you're considering like listing or selling and they did <laughs> so you know being a bit cheeky pays off sometimes and in kind of talking to that seller and just kind of talking about cordex plants let's just you know break the seal it's a cordex plant um they they have like their own collection they grow to sell some things and they actually sent me a list of all of the different types of cordex plant supplements and cacti that they have available like that would be ready to ship and i added a few more to the to the order they sent this out, I think it was sent out on Saturday. It's Monday today. So quite speedy arrival. I spotted an email this morning from the seller just saying like, please be careful when unpackaging because the original plant that I had bid on and lost and got again, um, can be really quite fragile and like tender when kind of being shipped and moved around. So I'm a little bit scared, but hopefully, it will be okay. Okay, so I've got the box open. And this is what they're looking like, all bundled up. I did ask if they were gonna be labeled, but I didn't hear back from them. Um, they might not be labeled, which means I might not know <laughs> who's who, because I think a lot of these are more winter growers. So they are, they're probably just gonna be like a stump. Okay, so I'm just gonna dive in and open them up. I, unless they're labeled on the inside, I'm not gonna know who's who in this. So I'll just put the names on the screen. It's like a little pick and mix surprise. Um, I'm gonna go with this one first. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna open them all like carefully, like they're really fragile glass. Okay got a little pot got a little bit of like soil spillage that's fine Oh 
like it. I can't remember what this one is, but I think I know what this one is. <laughs> I think it's the one that's like a uh, caldex and it grows like a single leaf. Like I'm pretty sure it's got like Singularis in the name. <laughs> it's like one leaf. But it's a winter grower, so it hasn't got its leaf at the moment. So not really anything to look at. This little bit here, sorry about the nails, that little bit is the caldex. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this bundle next. I'm quite scared actually. I think this one might be the one that I had bid on, didn't win and got sent another one because it, like that one did actually have growth. So if that is the case, this is the one that's really, oh, there's two in here, okay one of those might be a really fragile one. Oh my god what is what is this i can like see leaves from them because it's just a you there's definitely some leaves in here oh i think this is the one oh my god i'm terrified it's so oh oh it's um it feels like it's probably quite dehydrated so called X. If I'm right, and this is the one that I wanted, it's called Matelia Surfer Surfer. I had the name in my brain before I started filming this and it's gone. And I don't even know if that's how you pronounce the first word like it looks like Matelia, Matelia to me, but it could be like Mately. <laughs> I don't know. These are the leaves. I know it doesn't look like much, but this is um, it's a Caldex from Mexico, I believe, and it has the coolest flowers. I'm gonna message and ask about like how best to rehydrate this because all of these roots look they look like they're kind of done for in my opinion I almost want to put it in water because it's so floppy I'm gonna put it down because he said it's really tender and I just I don't want to ruin anything <laughs> I love these little like weirdo plants they're so cool okay Let's have a look in this one now. I think this was one of the winter growers. It like it was bigger, but it didn't have any leaves. <laughs> it's a stick. <laughs> or is it a wand? <clears throat> I'm in a bit of a silly mood. Can you tell? <laughs> okay, this guy feels much firmer. I can't remember anything about this guy. Again, the roots are not rooting but it's got such an interesting shaped caldex that's so cool <gasps> oh, what a little weirdo i love it okay send leafy vibes when it hits like you know the winter months for me okay right is i think this is just a bit of yeah, just a bit of newspaper. And then I think there should be one more in here. Another little bit of tissue. It's like a little pass the parcel surprise. You know when you like, as a child, sit in a circle and like, you pass the parcel and there's like one thing wrapped in each layer. Oh my God, this one's tiny. Ah! Oh, I've been excited about this one. I've been thinking about it quite a lot. Look how weird that is. Oh my God, it's so cool. <gasps> what a weirdo, love it, love it so much. Cannot wait for to see this one like grow and just look so weird. <gasps> Again, not much of a root system, but I think like, I feel like that's a trend with like Cordex plants because you don't, 
like in their non-growing season they go dormant like you shouldn't be watering them so obviously the roots are gonna go but the actual like caudex is pretty like solid and will retain enough energy to shoot out new roots and new growth well, that's so exciting okay what a funny little unboxing <laughs> i cannot wait for like a couple of months from now and all of those winter growers start to prep up like i can't wait to show you some updates on how exciting they look anyway thank you so much for joining me for this video bit impromptu not looking my best probably being a little bit like woo <laughs> just because i'm in a weird place right now but i really look forward to seeing you again very soon give this video a thumbs up please let me know if you're enjoying the cool decks like weirdo plant content because clearly i'm i'm in that era of my life right now uh, subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!